Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Diana with Creates Creativity and today um, in my cave we'll be making some um, flowers, coffee filter flowers. I uh, I double dip this and I kind of introduced them last on um, my last video on my double dipping and it's kind of like the fourth, uh, fourth front of how this is done as well. I double dip all the papers in different colors and also in the coffee water. So these are some of the papers I have from uh, the leftover project that I did before. It was my daughter's suit 16 and um, you know flowers, there was flower galore but they were all coffee filters. And um, I start off with water and acrylic paint. I got uh, the blue one from Michaels, I mean from, sorry, from Hobby Lobby and I think um, the Apple Barrel too, you can get it there. And I pretty much mix water and um, paint. I water down a lot the paint just because I don't want the paint paint. I want I don't want the acrylic. I want the pigment in the paint. And um, uh, I just like the intensity of these colors, and I like to use these colors for that same purpose. And um, you mix it up really well because it stays on the bottom. What I really want to use is what stays on the bottom, the little pigment. So make sure you mix it up really, really, really well. You see all that pigment on the bottom? I, I need to pick it up really well. As to the filters I'm going to use, I bought this ginormous bag for a dollar, believe it or not. And I just, um, I just dipped the tip first and I let up the pigment and the color to soak up the, uh, the veins of the coffee filter as you can see here it looks like magic I love it anywho I am um, just for um, demonstration purposes I don't use that many so you guys can see a little bit I have a lot of this paper and a lot of these flowers left over still I have like a big box but um, meanwhile uh, this filter is uh, soaking up the blue color I prepare my coffee water and I'm gonna dip um, I, right after it's, it's um, right after the pink I let it ice it's kind of like uh, drooping a lot of water so I'm gonna put it on my napkin a little bit and then I'm gonna let it soak on the on the coffee water and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the blue I'm gonna put coffee in the bucket and then I'm just gonna put my flower the same way uh, so it soaks up the brownish tones of the coffee filters that was not a straight out purple these are pages that i have done before in the past and these are just coffee there's no other color on them just just coffee so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of get it back into that shape of the coffee filter and get the tips soaked into the pink and then i'm going to get another filter and then i'm going to put that pink filter but I'm going to only use it for a little bit. It's going to be a shorter amount of time. Now, as you guys can see, I'm going back and forth and I'm putting here and I'm putting there. And that's how I got so many flowers, so many different colors and tones. Um, because I just put a bunch of water with coffee and then I, um, I did a different colors. I did blues, I did uh, pinks, I did like light cream I did different colors and then I mixed them up I double dipped everything sometimes they were triple dipped like this one that I'm about to do I'll take out the the pink from one side then I'll dip it again then I'll take it out then I dip it again and then on top of that I layer them all together so the papers in between the colors makes a new color so and it's fun to see what happens with those colors sometimes nothing really happens you really can't see colors but sometimes it just gives you that little subtle tone that you know you see out in nature or, you know you don't expect to see in just a regular coffee filter everybody at the party was touching the flowers asking me how I did them and I'm wondering what was going on with the flowers anyway so I'm gonna go I'm gonna start on the shape this is the easiest shape I managed to make up because I made so many, so many shapes that um, I was seeing shapes for days. Anyway, so 
Um, it's easy and it makes a large flower and it, it only takes two filters. I cut it in half and then I cut it in, th I mean I fold it in half and then I fold it in thirds. Um, the flower that I made has different sizes of petals because I noticed roses do that. They have like a smaller petal on the inside and a bigger petal on the outside. So what I do is the inner part, I do a four fold. So I'll fold it in four and I just do the same thing. I'll fold it down. Now, um, I don't, on this first one, since I have uh, haven't made flowers in a while, I've made a bunch of mistakes. First of all, I didn't put glue and you guys will see right now. I just start rolling the flower and just get on my dandy day and don't put glue. Don't do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you put so much glue on, like, all of them. And, you know, it's coffee filter paper is so thin that, you know, it seeps through. And it, it you know, it holds in because at the end, you, with the tip, uh, you have this that tape. And and um, you end up just grabbing it all together. But for, if you're going to use it in a party or in decoration like I did, where people are going to be touching it and passing by it, and you want it to hold its shape. I, I suggest you put all the glue everywhere. Anyways, um, having first the first one done, um, I know it looked a little harsh there, but once it's done, beautifully done, you squeeze it. You gotta you gotta crush it in, and the more you do it, the better it's gonna turn out. Once I'm done with the crushing, I go and get um, these uh uh. uh ink pads that I had I bought them uh, um, off some lady at a yard sale and I fell in love with the colors and once I you know you kind of like just uh, get color on the tips and once you spray the water that ink is gonna seep through but it's only gonna go down on the cracks just like I did on the paper on my last video how you you got to wrinkle it because the color will only go on the cracks. The same concept of the flowers. You got to wrinkle it so that the ink that you apply later from the ink pad kind of goes and makes a veining of effect on the flower. And um, and that's kind of important because you don't want it just to be a two-tone, three-tone color. You know, you want to give it some realistic veining. And in reality, it all it takes is uh, when you scrunch it up. But um, once you wet it and it dries up again, you're not going to see that much of a wrinkling. Although you'll see some, which is very realistic as well. You won't see as much of it. And here's another flower that I did. Uh, this is the paper that you, has, you guys had seen that it was already coffee, coffee dyed. And then I just dipped the, the tips in pink. Um, and... I, I like to use a darker tone or a darker shade on the in, on the outside and then on the inside a lighter um, mostly. But I have used it the opposite where I use the darker inside and the lighter outside. Anyways, for wrapping the, the stem on the bottom, you got to fold it and tuck it. Fold it and tuck it. Um, I'm going to do my best to explain what that is. But in reality, is you kind of... Let's see if this one I show you here. I kind of fold it, like fold it. See, I tucked it, fold it, and then tuck it. So <laughs> the way I could think is um, like a tighter fold than a larger fold. And then you kind of fold the flower itself, not just the wrap that you're going around it. And... Um, that's the best way I could explain to you. I wish I could slow down the video, but unfortunately, I'm only able to upload a video of 15 minutes or more. I don't know. Uh, I think YouTube is like, you know, because of all this good thing that's going on, um, they're limiting it to some people, like new people just like me. Anyways, for this pink one, I'm going to grab this ruby color, and I'm going to um, do the same thing. Just I put it on the tips of the flower and then I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna spray it over and the more you you spray it the, the lower the paint goes and the lighter it gets so um, you could you could spray it more and then 
put it on a cup, like put the cup on the mouth of the cup, and it'll, uh, the paint will go all the way down if you wet it a lot. And it, I like doing it sometimes, it depends, it, only if it's a bigger flower. I find that you it only makes sense when it's like a larger flower. But um, in this case, anyways, I in this flower that I'm going to show you guys that I did, I grab my trash that I have from the other ones. And I just roll it up in a little bundle and uh, make a, make the center of my flower. And in this one, the same thing. I'm going to grab two filters and I'm going to fold it in fours. And I do it together. Um, and this this shape is not hard to get. But you know, it you could you could do you could do a template if you struggle with this shape. But it's pretty much like you know parentheses and a little thing in the in the in the in the center of it. Once I open it, I make sure that um, I get it off balance. I don't want them to be exactly on top of each other. So um, once I put the glue and make a hole in the center of both of them. I make sure that I, when I put them on top of each other, they're not exactly on top of each other. You can see the one in the back. And then this one, you also wrinkle it. But in this one flower, I only wrinkle it um, one direction, like going up and down. I don't wrinkle it like a, like a bunch it up. I just kind of wrinkle it and then twist it. And the same concept, I'll grab a color and then I'll um, I'll do the tipping of the, on the ink pad, and then I'll spray this uh, on the uh, on the tips. On this one, I think it's the one I I just sprayed it just a little bit, so it's more intense color. And then um, once they dry, you can go back and dip it again, and then um, and then put more water. In reality, you can go back as many times as you want on it, and you could also mix the colors. In uh, I think in this one, this flower that I'm making here, I'll mix the colors just so you guys could see that. You know, you could double dip it in the ink pad too, and in different colors, and it's gonna intensify. And this one, I used to start out with the brown, and uh, I, I found out that I have other ink pads, and I find that some ink pads have a like a, a undertone that you really can't see like the, in this case it has a like a bluish purplish tone that I like how it turned out on the flower uh, that's why I like to mix it with the red because it had a like a I don't know uh, different tones coming out once you wet it see on this one after the brown I did it on the red and I didn't wet it again I don't know if you guys notice it but I don't wet it again I figure that enough of the wedding that is there is going to blend it enough but at the same time keep the pink pink if you know what I mean anyways uh, now that I'm doing the blue um, this blue will have um, I will do the same thing same flower I'm for pur demonstration purposes um, I'm only I'm mostly focusing on the colors and the variety you can get with different colors and tones and the double dipping and double layering and triple layering of the, of the colors and how realistic and natural some of these flowers can really look by doing these effects. So I'm not really focusing on giving you guys so many flowers, which I can, you know, probably do in a different video. But for now, I'm gonna just do um, some of the, the same flower but different tones. Um, in this one, I use a honey color and um, just so it turns down the blue because it's so much blue and it's the same thing it gives you that natural look and that veining of the flower and this is how they look all dried up see how they don't look all bunched up as much anymore but they have that you know that natural uh, organic feel to them rather than just you know a flat piece of paper and um, these are how they look some of them have more intense because I didn't wet it that much and some of them um, have that brownish purplish tone and these flowers here these are the ones I had before these are only coffee dyed and then I just changed them around by just doing the tip different color it has a brown the honey one and the pink one which I think it also had that brown that's all for today folks if you guys like this video please consider subscribing and liking it 
Thank you. Have a good day.